Do you know it's an FDM printer? FDM uses filament for printing. That's the most popular printer like Ender Free or any other. But this, this is not an FDM printer. This is something completely different. I already told you that this is not an FDM 3D printer, it does not use filament for printing, so what technology is that? It's called Stereolithography SLA or DLP Digital Light Processing and basically it uses resin uh, that can be cured, it's UV sensitive resin and it can be cured with UV light. So we have a display that displays uh, the UV light, the object that you want to print layer by layer and basically that's how it produces each object that you want to print. It's way simpler than FDM printers. Because there is no hot end, there is no heated bed, uh, there is no heat at all, just the display. In this case, this is a 2K display, so that's a pretty nice display. 2K is a quite big resolution. We also have a stepper motor with a lid screw to move the platform up and down. And this platform is actually the only thing uh, that we need to assemble in this printer because it's like 99% assembled when it comes to. Uh, we need to put this platform right here. Here is the touch screen that you can control the printer with and there is no SD card in this printer. You have only the USB port right here and you can print from USB stick for example. And that's pretty much all about this printer. It's, it's very very simple when it comes to the build. There is also one thing that I should tell you about. Uh, is this tank right here because that's where we put the resin to print. You can take out this tank and clean it, you know, put the resin back in the container. Uh, so that's really nice that this thing is removable and now you can put it back in place. Oh, here below the tank is the 2K display. So now we can just put this thing back in place. In the kit you can find gloves, mask and those two things are very very important because resin is really dangerous, that's nasty stuff. Uh, you don't want to get hurt by the resin. So always use gloves, mask and also I recommend you to use the ice protection. You also have the power supply instruction and additional film uh, that is used in this tank on the bottom of it in case you damage this one. You can replace it and there is also a spatula to remove the prints. And I think that's it as for now. So. Let's turn on the printer, see how it works, uh, and we'll print something. Bed leveling process is just super easy compared to FDM printers and in the instruction manual it's really nicely described so I'm not going to bore you with that. We are almost ready to print something from the USB stick that was provided by the manufacturer but firstly we need to put the resin in the tank.
I'm not sure how sensitive this resin is to the normal light from the light bulbs so just in case I will minimize the light in the workshop I suppose that those yellow panels protect the resin inside from the light so after closing the hatch I think it's safe to turn on the light I put like I don't know half of the resin maybe even a little bit more in the tank and it's time to just quick print uh, also one thing that I noticed the LCD screen the touch screen is very sensitive it's really easy to use even with gloves so that's a big plus Yesterday I had to leave the workshop very early so my dad just turned off the printer and here is the print really detailed, really precise and that's kind of a normal thing for DLP printers compared to FDM the difference is huge and after printing you need to do some stuff to this print to make it usable first you need to wash it in alcohol in isopropyl alcohol I think it's called uh, second you need to wash it in water and then you may need to expose it to sun or UV lamp in order to cure it completely and I want to test if this printer can actually print gears that are usable and strong enough to work and that's also what I would like this printer to be for not only just for you know funny stuff but I want to use it for some prototyping for prototyping of gears for prototyping of cases let's say uh, that will be very very close to injection molding because FDM printers you know the quality of FDM printer is not that great and you can't really compare an FDM print to injection molding but this is very close so let's print something better than just a cube. I printed those gears in just about an hour so printing time on this printer is not really that terrible and the really cool thing is the only thing that matters when it comes to the printing time uh, is the height of the object because it prints the wool layer at once so it doesn't really matter if you print just one small gear or all of those gears with base at once because it will take exactly the same amount of time the only problem is that I messed up the tolerances because I thought that uh, between this hole and this pin right here 0.1 millimeter will be enough it's not and I can't fit the gear on this pin the second problem is a small layer shift on all of the gears and also a little bit on the base but it's not really that visible on the base on the big gear it's kind of big and why this happened I don't know maybe I messed up something with the slicer uh, or with the bead adhesion maybe there are some problems if you're a total beginner you don't know anything about 3d printers and you just want to start your journey I wouldn't recommend this as a first printer because it's a little bit harder to use than FDM it's a little bit more expensive and you know FDM is just easier and I think that's the best way to go but if you need something better maybe you want to upgrade from FDM printer or maybe you want to create really precise prototypes that as I said are close to injection molding this is definitely a printer for you It's day number three of working on this printer review and today I want to print the case as I told you 
And also one more thing, uh, the case, I found it on Thingiverse, it's not my design, I will link in the description. Uh, so now I just need to pour the resin back in the printer and we'll start printing. This type of printing is completely different than FDM so it's hard to compare uh, this to a normal printer like Ender 3 and it's also hard to recommend such printer for a beginner because it's definitely a little bit harder to use because you have to clean all of that after printing you have to clean the parts but the results are amazing and that's something that I have to admit for example this astronaut it is very tiny but also super detailed uh, also keep in mind that those parts are not as strong as printed with ABS or PETG uh, those are quite brittle and it's easier to break them uh, but there's all of different versions of the resin so maybe you can find something that's a little bit stronger for prototypes like this this is just perfect like you know the small details even those snap points right here those work perfectly and you can't print really something like this with an FDM printer so as I said I will for sure use this printer in the future for prototype of cases and maybe even wall projects, we will see. Uh, it's not as hard to use as you may think because it's really really simple to print but there is a little bit of work with cleaning of those parts and the printer itself. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed this very quick review of a really interesting printer. I will put link to it in the description and if you need more info you can check out the links in the description. And also ask me questions in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, happy making, bye.